Tennessee has four huge games, without overlooking others, on the schedule this year. They play Oklahoma. That's true. They do. They play Florida, Alabama, and Georgia. It's not hard to be excited with the way things have been going in recruiting, but I think we all know at some point we've got to win games like we used to, big games. Would you say that of those four games, Tennessee, for them to take their recruiting and program to the next level, ideally, do we have to win at least one of those four games? Good question, Dylan. Yes, you do. You absolutely do. I told you at the end of last year, when Tennessee started so horribly, but they were able to string together a stretch at the end where they won, that was good enough to take out in recruiting and sell to kids in the form of a vision that landed them a top 10 class. Now, Pruitt's a really good recruiter. They got a staff of really good recruiters. But here's what I was talking about to start the show tonight. The volatility, or volatility and fluidity of recruiting this particular cycle is going to be that there's going to be a lot of movement, a whole lot of movement this fall. If you're winning, you're not losing kids because of your on-field result. You may, if you lose them, it'll be for another reason. But you beat Oklahoma. No one's turned off by that. But just as sure as the sun's going to rise tomorrow morning, as long as your local government officials say it can, you're going to have, if you go 0-4, if you lose to OU and you lose to Florida, Alabama, Georgia, again, you got a really good recruiting class right now. You're going to be attacked from all angles about how if I'm Georgia or if I'm Florida or if I'm Alabama or if I'm Oklahoma and I'm recruiting against you, I'm saying, you know we do it. We do it every year. They tell you they're going to do it, but they didn't do it this year. They didn't do it last year until the schedule got soft. I mean, do you really want to waste the only college career you're ever going to have at a place that's selling you hope and selling you maybe and selling you could be when we can sell you already are, already has been, already will be? Here's the trophy case. Here are the crystal footballs. That's the kind of stuff you're going to have to deal with. And I'm telling you, it's not going to work on every kid, but it will work on some kids on top of the fact that they're going to be taking more official visits than they would have previously, on top of the fact that they're going to be recruited every bit as hard as they normally are, but other factors are going to be in play. Yes, I think Tennessee has to. They call them program-defining wins. Tennessee's got to get at least one of them. I think that their road game against Auburn a couple of years ago really set some of the wheels in motion that culminated with landing some big kids in this last recruiting cycle. I think they used that effectively. I've heard people reference that game, but you can lose some of that momentum too. That's the thing about people who make a big deal out of momentum. If you believe in it, then you got to believe that there's also the opposite side of that coin where you can lose it and you can have negative momentum. You go 0-4 in those big games this year, and that's if you win all the other ones. As you pointed out here in this question, no guarantee they're going to win all the other ones. So yeah, Dylan, I think that absolutely they do.